Science 3 Today, we are going to tackle the different animals in our surroundings. Learning competency with code. The learners should be able to describe animals in their immediate surroundings. Animals are found everywhere. You can see them moving on the ground or under the ground. You can see them swimming in the water or crawling on the river bed. You can see them flying over the trees or high up in the sky. They can move from one place to another. There are many kinds of animals. Some animals are big, some are small and can be kept in small jars and boxes. Some animals are friendly, we can play with them, just like our pet dogs. Some animals are endangered and face extinction while some are abused because of their unique qualities. Now, let's tackle the different animals in our surroundings. First, we have the domesticated or pet animals. These animals are tame and kept as pet. Examples of these are rabbit, dog, cat, fish. These animals are classified as domesticated or pet animals. Next, we have the farm animals. These animals are raised on a farm, just like cow, pig, carabao, and goat. Can you name some farm animals? We also have the zoo animals. These animals are kept on zoos and are put on display for humans to see. Just like owl, elephant, zebra, and giraffe. Can you name other zoo animals? Next, we also have the wild animals. These animals are not domesticated and they are potentially dangerous to humans. Just like the tiger, lion, crocodile, and cobra. Can you name other wild animals? Wild animals usually live in the forest. Next, we have the aquatic animals. These animals are found or live in the water. Examples of these are jellyfish, milkfish, shrimp, and octopus. Can you name other aquatic animals?
Next, we have the land animals. These animals are found in the forest, grassland, fields, and gardens. Just like the ant, chicken, rat, and cow. These are called land animals. Now, it's your turn to name some land animals. We also have aerial animals. These animals have wings for flying, just like the eagle and the bat. They have wings to fly. Now, let's have some activities. I want you to get your paper and pencil. Activity 1. What animal am I? Write the names of the animals. Number 1. What do you call this animal? Write its name. Number 2. What do we call this animal? Number 3. Write the name of this animal. Number 4. And number 5. What is the name of this animal? Now, let's try to answer activity 2. Identify the animal being described. Guess who? Number 1. I am with you all day and night, trying to protect you by barking from a stranger. I am with you all day and night, trying to protect you by barking from a stranger. Guess who? Number 2 I love to stay under the chair. I run after the mouse. I love to stay under the chair. I run after the mouse. Guess who? Number 3 I have colorful wings and sip the nectar of a flower. I have colorful wings and sip the nectar of a flower. Guess who? Number 4 You always see me swim in an aquarium and pond. You always see me swim in an aquarium and pond. Guess who? And number five, I have feathers and fly up in the sky. I have feathers and fly up in the sky. Guess who?